Hello, Dr. Janine Krause here, wanting to show you a demo of how to release a infraspinatus and teres minor, as well as getting into the lats using a gua sha tool. So, oil the area first, coconut oil, avocado oil, whatever type of oil you have. And what you'll see is I've got my hand here, kind of getting in and just working to release all these adhesions and just slowly working. The pressure is just a little bit more than you would average use to, to do a massage. So you're just kind of working in, moving it back and forth. And what this does is help to release adhesions. But first, of course, I uh, went in and was looking for where are those knots? Where does she have knots? Right there, she's got a perfect one. And so we just go right into that spot with the tool and just kind of help to rock back and forth, back and forth, get that area released. And so, yeah, it hurts a little bit. And of course, in my practice, you know, I tell everyone that I'm not here to torture you. I want you to let me know if it's too much, we back off and we just go a little bit easier. And in that case, we can work very gently here back and forth to work on opening up that tissue. And so we can go here, use that. And then the other one is going across infraspinatus. This is your muscle here that is right below that spine on your shoulder. And so this guy often gets tight. And in ladies in particular, this is the one that locks up when we have our purse in the back seat and we reach back to go get the purse and then all of a sudden you can't move your arm. That's infraspinatus. So work on this guy a little bit there. And you can see it's starting to get red. And that's the goal, blood flow. All of us are lacking blood flow to our tissues. We are chronically dehydrated in our muscles. And sometimes you just need somebody to help you to get in there and get things moving. And that's really great for helping with your mobility and pain. Alrighty, this is a quick gua sha demo there of working to release your shoulder muscles so that you have better range of motion in your shoulders. And so great for rotator cuff things if someone's struggling with that. Um, obviously, if you have an actual tear in your rotator cuff, there's not much I can do for that. But if you have tension in the muscles that are in the back of the shoulder and you're feeling restricted when, say, you're playing golf or say you're at the gym and you're not being able to raise up a barbell over your head, things of that nature, you're not able to lift things fully over your head because you feel restriction, this is great for that. All right, I'm Dr. Janine Krauss. Thanks for watching.